everyone and welcome. I'd like to thank you for joining me today for an overview of Acumatica Cloud ERP. I begin today by accessing any browser and logging into the Acumatica website. Because Acumatica is a cloud-based system, anywhere that you have access to the internet, you will have access to Acumatica, whether that be a laptop, a PC, or even a mobile device. We are a role-based system, so that means that different users accessing Acumatica will only have access to the different screens, fields, and transactions that they need to do their job. Acumatica is organized through the concept of workspaces. On the left-hand side, each one of these menu items represents a different workspace or a different business process area. For example, if I drill into my receivables workspace, I can see all of the different areas of the system related to accounts receivable, such as invoices and memos, payments and applications, or AR reports. Acumatica provides search functionality, so at any time you can type in a word, phrase, or transaction number to quickly locate what you might be looking for. Help topics are also included to help new and veteran users alike get trained on new topics. Acumatica provides comprehensive, real-time dashboards for all areas of the business. Quickly analyze critical information such as customers with overdue payments or customers on credit hold. Drill down into any data point to retain further analytics and quickly make decisions. Dashboards can be created for all areas of the business, including finance, distribution, projects, support, or even a customer view dashboard that can highlight several areas, such as orders, accounts receivable, and even trends with our customers. Tools such as Legends are provided to take a dashboard widget and modify your view even further. And of course, these dashboards are easy to design. You can very easily swap the view of the different widgets on the dashboard or add new data. Acumatica supports several types of dashboard widgets, including charts, data tables, pivot tables, and even Power BI tiles. Acumatica is well known for our flexible reporting, and generic inquiries are one of the tools we use to do so. As you can see here, I'm looking at a list of all of my opportunities. Generic inquiries in Acumatica are similar to SQL-based queries, where I can take several different tables and conditions and produce a result like you're seeing here. Not only can I quickly generate this information, but I can do things like modify the look and feel, if the status of the opportunities are very important to me, perhaps I'd like to drag that to the front. Perhaps the close date is something that's critical to me. And I can also very easily filter this information. If I'd like to only see opportunities that maybe are in the solution stage, in just a few seconds, I have produced that information without any need to modify a physical report. You can also see that Acumatica allows for highlighting of certain conditions. In my example, any opportunity that has not had an owner assigned to it is being highlighted in yellow. Acumatica provides a world-class mobile application, which is currently available in your iPhone or Android store. I can log into the mobile application by entering my password or entering my fingerprint. You can access the same functions from the Acumatica mobile app that you can expect in the back-end ERP. Quickly enter expense receipts from the field, approve purchase orders and other suggestions through the system, or conduct field service appointments as a technician out in the field. I'll select an appointment to show a quick example. As a field service technician, I can see the appointment that I am responsible for. I can view the address on a map to quickly get a picture of where I'll need to travel to. I can capture files, such as photos, and attach them directly to the appointment record. I can even capture a signature from my customer to ensure that the work was performed to their liking. All of this information gets fed back to Acumatica ERP in real time. Back in Acumatica, my field service manager will be able to take a look at all open appointments, and we can quickly locate the appointment that we just worked on in the mobile application. Within this appointment, we have retained all information from the mobile app, including the customer signature, and timeline information about the labor that has been performed. Acumatica supports businesses of all types, including distribution, manufacturing, construction, project-based, e-commerce, and more. I will walk through a workflow example that many common businesses experience, which includes an order to cash transaction. To do so, I will create a new sales order. Within Acumatica, I can use type ahead functionality to select a customer, and I can even include pop-up notes about certain customers if required actions are necessary. 
cross-sell upsell functionality is available. If I'd like to take a look at all of the items that we've sold to a particular client over a period of time, perhaps everything since 2015, Acumatica will project the data including items sold, prices sold, and quantities sold so that we can suggest a cross-sell or upsell. As soon as the line item is added to the sales order, I get an immediate picture into inventory so I can very quickly tell if this item is available to sell or if perhaps I'll need to go out and place a purchase order. You will see import and export links to and from Excel throughout the Acumatica system, so if I perhaps got a customer PO that I would like to import directly into Acumatica, I can do so. Acumatica is integrated with common U.S. carriers out of the box, such as FedEx and UPS. We do also have a connection to USPS through Stamps.com and an integration with ShipEngine. This allows customers to shop for rates directly inside of Acumatica. I can compare freight charges, select the best one for me, and then go on to generate tracking numbers and shipping labels directly inside of Acumatica. Acumatica accepts several types of payment methods, including checks, cash, wire transfers, and credit cards. We are PCI compliant and are supported through Authorize.net out of the box. Upon completion of my sales order, I can determine if I would like to email it to the client manually or set up an automatic notification to do so without any human intervention. Because Acumatica has built-in CRM, I can always get a look into any activities that have occurred against documents and track different tasks, events, appointments, notes, and more. Now that our sales order, 5049, is completed, let's see how the warehouse is notified. On the dashboard of my warehouse manager, I can very quickly see that I have six orders waiting to be shipped. As I drill down into that list of six orders, I will see right away the order that was placed just a moment ago. As a warehouse or fulfillment manager, I can now get ready to create the shipment. From my shipment record, I can generate a pick list to begin the process of pick, pack, and ship. You can see that barcodes are included on my pick list to support RF scanning devices if necessary. Acumatica will recommend packages to use based on weight and carrier, and upon confirmation, I will see a tracking number appear from the carrier in real time, which I can automatically send out to the customer. I can also generate a shipping label, which I can include on the box and avoid the need to log into a separate third-party system. The final step in this process would be to prepare my invoice. In Acumatica, you can choose to take this type of action one-off, or you could also choose to take it in a batch. I will show you an example of what we call a processing screen. On this processing screen, I could take an action such as preparing invoices in a batch. If I wanted to create five invoices at once from this screen, I can absolutely do so. I could also put this on an automation schedule to perhaps say we would like to prepare all invoices from confirmed shipments every day at 8 o'clock in the morning. I can see that my invoice has been created. Again, I can email it out to my customer and release it to my general ledger when ready. Upon the release of my invoice, I will see that I have access to the general ledger and the journal entry that has been created as a result. Beyond the generic inquiries that we discussed earlier in this video, Acumatica has several types of reports and financial statements available out of the box. I'll run a common report such as a balance sheet. And from this balance sheet, we see that each one of the accounts allows us to drill down into the details behind it, and perhaps even down to the transaction level if we need to get there. I have the ability to take any Acumatica report and print it, send it via email, or export to Excel or PDF. I can also choose to group these reports based on a number of unit sets. In my example, you can see that my balance sheet is broken out by companies and branches. If I'd like to take a look at the balance sheet for just one branch, I can easily drill into that data versus my consolidated report. Acumatica provides report writing tools to allow easy modification of our reports and to build your own. Although designing a report is outside the scope of this video, I will quickly show you the financial report designer on our report definition screen. You can see that I have row sets, column sets, and unit sets configured for my report. Each one of these sets can be easily modified in our flexible interface and even copied and reused to allow you to save time and effort in your report writing. Beyond these financial reports, Acumatica provides several types of standard reports, including profitability reports and detailed reports of many types. Parameters can be applied to these reports if you'd like to see a view of this data over a particular period of time, or maybe for a particular customer. 
In my example, the sales order details by inventory item is broken out, of course, by inventory item and by customer. Thank you for joining me today for this high-level overview of Acumatica. For more information, please visit us at www.acumatica.com where you can find additional videos and resources.